That one? Yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh man, she's like tuned in on you. Here, Dad. Who's this from? King of Pam. Just open the stupid box. All the cameras came out. So <laughs> oh, nobody's gotten any pictures. Mom was just like, has anybody taken a picture of Dad yet? And the I truth is it. no, other than your foot. Yeah. And sneakers, I can tell that. Wait, wait. Why don't you open, all, open the it all the way? It's a very good run. Well, you're taking a picture too. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I just want to get some video. Yeah, I didn't know. I won't even know you're wearing it. But I don't run. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I this is the whole you getting back into you taking exercises. This. Watch out, Yazzie. Yes. Yazzie, you don't want Yazzie, Yazzie. Yes, back up. Come here. Please give this to Kanan. That's to Kanan. I should get to open your present. I'm sorry, this is some message. Sure is. Okay, this is from Kanan and Pam. Ready? Yeah. Dear Dad, of all the godly traits you have modeled and shown us in your daily walk, perhaps the most striking is your generosity. For my entire life, you have consistently displayed amazing amounts of generosity in your time, attention, and concern, but also with your money. As I've grown older, I've been able to see how, throughout the years, you have consistently given and given and given at the expense of the things that you would want for yourself. Especially recently. In the past few years, your generosity with money has been absolutely amazing and has enabled us to have and do the things we want in life. We have an awesome house great cars and lots of nice stuff and we owe much of it to you and the consistent financial help and generosity that you and mom show. Um, the most important part of this generosity is your personal sacrifice. You've consistently sacrificed the things you want to give for yourself to give us a better life. This Christmas Pam and I decided to return the favor. Now that God has enabled us to make good money and earn a living, we feel that the time is right to show you our love and appreci appreciation in the same way that you do through a little sacrifice. We've decided to sacrifice a few of the things that we might want to do with our money and instead enable what we hope is a long time desire of yours to become a reality. We wanted to get you something that we think and hope you have always wanted but would never get for yourself because of the generous spirit you show to others. So now it's our turn. Please accept this gift as a huge thank you for all you have been and done for us. No one deserves this more than you and we do this in the same spirit of love and joy that you do things for us. Much love forever and enjoy. Came in okay. It's in the back of the Hummer, so we gotta... It's in the back of the Hummer? Yeah. I gotta use some shoes. Mm -hmm. No, you'll be alright. <clears throat> no, it's not. It's dry out there. The wind's drying up. You aren't sacrificing the stinking thing you put up. Yeah, huh? You're giving it right back. No, I don't want it. It's okay. What's your loaf for that? What's he doing? <clears throat> Putting. Oh, my foot fell asleep laying there. You have to close your eyes though at the door, okay? Whole leg is so it's not. No, it's in the back of the car. I just don't want you to see it through the window. window. Are they closed? Well, not yet. You can not see closed. through the window, so. I won't let you hit anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's you don't want to fall down. Yeah. Walk slow. All right. Okay, we're onto the driveway. We're gonna sail along the path. Watch the mirror. Keep coming. I do like the blue on that coming better. Yeah, well, I have to talk to you about that. Hold on, Dad. Right, you have you to come clean this yours way. up. Let's see. Okay. You mentioned it. <laughs> you said night. it last night. <laughs> you I'm going to give it right back. I'm not going to it. Yes, you are. I stole it practically. Did you know this? Yes. <laughs> and last night, we're wondering who told you. <laughs> <laughs> we're hoping nobody told you. Merry oh Christmas. Gosh. <laughs> you stinker. <laughs> Merry Christmas. My hands are back. Shut up, Doc. I wish you could drive it right now. You can drive it real quick. 
I don't want it. I don't want it. This is a lock. Go check it's a lock. 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 We'll take it to North Carolina at Easter. Does anybody down there know? No. We did this early on because I didn't want to leave it out here too long. I didn't know. It's turn it my way. My way. My way. It may, it may only open. My car is open in the driver's side. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What year is it? 88. It's really a baby. Only 70,000 miles. Oh, really? The guy's had it for 15 years. He, he was the second owner. Nice old guy. He just bought himself a brand new one. He said when he turned 65, he was going to get a brand new one. So he bought that one and was selling this one. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, it runs like, nice. Hopefully we're not giving oh, you <laughs> a bill. <laughs> Smirk, do you want to take it? Can you? Are you able to drive? I don't think I can get in or out of it yet. Okay. Well, anyway, we can start we'll start it. Take your word for it. We'll take our word for it. It's fun. <laughs> Got new seats. Man, oh man. He came and was saying, "I get the Corvette for four days." Watch out! Watch out! Dad, 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 car. <laughs> Okay, why don't you drive it down and put it in front of your Mustang? I'll park oh, the you Hummer. Can't, you can't go up that hump with it. 